Okay, wait, we got someone from France. Hang on. France, France, here we go. France, there we go. France is now on the map. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, we're taking last minute uh, countries to put them on the map here. And yeah, everyone can see the map. So we've got all these countries covered. Um, if anybody were here from Russia, we'd have half the world. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess that's uh, that's it. Now Germany. We got Germany. Thank you, Heike. Okay. So, uh, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, I made a promise that I couldn't fulfill Heike. Okay. I needed to get some rest upon Vance's instructions. He told me get some rest. So, promise. Very important. Oh. Very important. Well, let me start my video. I hadn't done that. Um, video. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here we are. Would you like me to introduce you first? You can. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, here we got uh, Van Stevens, the one and only Van Stevens. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about him, apart from being a mentor to like, I would say 80% of the people um, who have gone into the field of instructional technology, if not more. Um, the real host of this event and not just co-host in Zoom. Um, he is so generous with his time and expertise and you cannot really imagine. Okay, he's the founder of Webheads, not a Webhead. I can call myself, I hope, a Webhead, but he's the founder of this community and out of which it's become a learning together community. Uh, Vance is the founder of Webheads in Action on uh, and the internet editor for Tessel UK, the journal. He hosts uh, the podcast series uh, of Learning Together with almost 500 episodes and serves as Tessel Call IS Electronic Village Online as coordinator and session moderator. He uh, is uh, on the editorial board or an, uh, a member on the editorial board Paul Journal, he received the 2019 Paul Research Conference Lifetime Achievement Award, and I remember this ceremony, it was literally virtual. So if I can award you virtually here some flowers, all right, for actually making this event happen, I'm doing that. Now the floor is yours. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm not the editor of Tessel Electronic Journal. Tom Robb is the editor of Tessel Electronic Journal. I'm the uh, on the internet editor. I don't know if you made that distinction. And yes, we have almost um, 500 episodes of uh, learning together. Not learning, yes we do, yeah, learning together. Uh, this is episode 494. And we are on, I always uh, give the time of my episodes. Well, you know, I haven't started the recording yet. And I just, uh, uh, let me do that. <laughs> I just missed that lovely, oh, the recording is started, but uh, yeah. oh, you must be recording. Oh, you're recording. Okay. Uh, all right, fine. Okay, so that's good. That's good to know. Uh, uh, earlier, I had the ability to record on my computer, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so anyway. Um, so, uh, yes, this is, uh, w this is the Teachers Learning Together Summit, and it's actually at the initiative of uh, Hannah Hamis, who, um, it was her idea. She, uh, she got it all together, really. She just asked me to make a platform for it, so that's what I did. And uh, I'm quite happy to do that. So that, that makes this a Learning Together episode. The whole two days is episode 494 for Learning Together. And um, so anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, I, I'll try not to go over time, but what I always do when I, let me see, I'll just see if I can present this. Let me make this big. I'm sharing my screen, so it should, where's the present here? I, oh, everything's always in the way. Present, here we go. There's present. All right. And I'm at the last slide, so I'll go back to the front. Oh, by the way, though, let's leave, let's leave that there. Um, 
you can find these slides at a tiny URL. So the slides are tiny URL Vance 2020 Summit. And I wrote up the text version at Summit 2020 Vance. So if you forget which order those are, you can go to one of those, Vance 2020 Summit or Summit 2020 Vance. That's tinyurl.com slash uh, those links. And then you'll find the either the text version and a link to the slides. So, or the slides and a link to the text version. So going back to the beginning of my presentation, uh, the presentation is entitled, Teacher, Are We in the New Normal Yet? So this is actually, uh, the yes, so, okay, someone could do that maybe, put the link in the text chat. Would someone like to do that? So there's the link there. On, maybe you could do that, Sybil. Could you uh, just put tinyurl.com slash Vance 2020 Summit? Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so this, uh, I'm, I'm retired from teaching. I don't really have students. Uh, I'm not meeting them right now. But when I had students just recently, uh, they were always calling me teacher. Teacher, are we in the new normal yet? Okay, so that was, I sort of imagined that question. Um, I, I suppose here at this, uh, oh, sorry, the, uh, you know how when you move windows out of the way because they're in your way and windows makes them big again, you know, just bounces them out and makes them, it covers everything. Yeah, okay, so anyway, this is, uh, I, I think at this conference we're going to be asking things, we're talking about the new normal, uh, teaching in the new normal. What is the new normal? That's a good question. Uh, when do we get there? How long will it last? Uh, when do we get to go back to the old normal? Uh, I like the old normal. Well, why don't we just go back there? You know, that's the way I feel. But realistically, we're never going to do that, unfortunately. And the reason is that the old normal was not sustainable. Now, I'm not really an authority on sustainability, but I did get invited to a conference in Alexandria, believe it or not, at the at the library in Alexandria. Um, by uh, Jay Cross was going to be a presenter at that conference. Uh, I don't know if you know who Jay Cross is or was. Unfortunately, he, he died recently. But um, this picture is taken with me and Kurt Bonk and Jay Cross. And Kurt, uh, he, uh, I've been in, uh, anyway, when he comes to Abu, when he came to Abu Dhabi while I was living there, we used to get together. And um, he, uh, uh, before I met Jay Cross, he told me, he told Jay Cross, Jay Cross was coming to Abu Dhabi. And he said, well, we, if you're going to Abu Dhabi, you should look up Vance. And so he did. He gave me a call. He was at a conference. When the conference ended, he gave me a call. And I picked him up and uh, at, at his hotel. And he, he's, all, he's dressed in his conference clothes. You know, he had tie was taken off, but that was about it. He, I said, well, where do you want to go? He said, well, you know, I really want to go to a beach. So I took him to the nearest beach and parked the car. And he got out. Took off his shoes, took off his socks, started walking in the sand. I said, boy, I was so happy he was there at that beach. And um, so I said, well, okay, this kind of guy. Okay, so I took him over to an old souk, the Iranian souk. Uh, and there's a fish market there. And we um, uh, bought some shrimps. We took them back home to my wife. And she made us a great dinner. And uh, anyway, that's how I think I got invited to go to uh, this uh, conference in, in uh, Egypt. Uh, this is the pictures of the library there I got from Wikipedia. Um, that library is very interesting. They are uh, trying to digitize as many books as possible. And this, I think, is a picture of the reading room. It's a very spacious place, an incredible building. Um, but anyway, the, the conference was on um, it was on motivating change, or actually the conference itself was new learning for sustain sustainability in the Arab region. And um, motivating change, new learning, and formal education for sustainable development. And by the way, have I got, is this chat making a big black black spot on my screen? I can't really see, Let's see if I can see the, I can't really see, is it, is there a black spot on the screen? Somebody answer me because, no, okay, that's good, okay, so, okay, uh, sometimes uh, things on the screen make black spots on, uh, you know, cover up parts of the screen, just make the boxes you drag around. Okay, so anyway, this uh, conference 
uh, it was in 2007. Now it's about uh, motivating change, new learning, formal education for sustainable development. In a way, that conference in 2007 was kind of what we were, uh, what we're doing now. And um, I did a couple of things there. I, I gave a talk, but I also gave, uh, and if you go to the, the write-up that I have, you can see an appendix where I've listed some of the things I did. But one thing I did was uh, a fun fair un, un workshop, an unworkshop. So the reason it was an unworkshop was it was spontaneous. Somehow I insinuated that I could do this if people were interested and uh, they gave me a room and I got a bunch of computers together and um, invited people there and this is 2007 so we're talking 13 years ago and we we'd already made some I'd, I already had portals with web heads and all that and we we used Skype to connect other people so we brought people in from all over the world we went to Second Life the people there at the conference really liked Second Life and used uh, Elato and Illuminate the way we use uh, Zoom now and we used Twitter and of course tagging and that sort of thing and uh, slide share bubble share Flickr we used all these things to bring in all kinds of threads because in the sustainability people wanted to know how that this conference was about how they could get their message across. So that was kind of what they were doing. Oh, and, and what is fun? Fun is, I, I said this was a, what did I say it was? It's a fun fair. Okay, F-U-N. F-U-N is frivolous, unanticipated nonsense. And if you're following the slides, all these links are hyperlinked. So the link at the bottom will take you to the slideshow where I gave this talk where this slide intruded on my, uh, it, was a, it was a very formal talk at a conference in Long Beach, TESOL, and put on by David Noonan. And of course, we didn't want frivolous, unanticipated nonsense intruding on that. But this slide just kind of insinuated itself. So anyhow, if you're interested, you can follow the link, find out more. So, um, I think about the, the reason we're in the fix we are now is that we were not living sustainably. And uh, we were doing things like flying off to conferences wherever we liked, uh, traveling whenever we liked. Nowadays, you know, this new normal, well, I don't know if this is a new normal. I, I think we're on a transition to the new normal. I think this new normal is going to be a more sustainable way of doing things. But basically, uh, this is what we can't do. We can't just fly off to conferences. They've already been canceled for 2020. I can't get out of Malaysia because if I do, I can't get back in. Um, that, therefore, I can't see my grandchildren. Even casual friendships here are kind of not happening. Meeting in social groups isn't happening. Economy is going to pot because there's so few people out buying. And uh, when things are worse, then you're really under some kind of lockdown, it's even difficult to shop. So these are some of the things that are happening to us in the new normal. But what we're really interested in, I think, is um, we're interested in what the new normal is doing to education. So when I was active this year, I was invited uh, in 2020, or in January, I should say, to uh, as an English English language specialist, the U.S. government English language specialist program. I was invited to go to Thailand and give a series of workshops face to face. And you can see uh, this is uh, on my blog. I blogged this, and the, the link is there on the slide. But you can see the people in the room. These people are in Chiang Rai, and they're wearing masks because they are near China. And they and this this university they had a lot of Chinese students, and they were really aware of the pandemic and um, so, but the workshops I was giving, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm going to do, I, I'm going to skirt over this because I'm doing a panel. This is part of the panel that I'm doing tomorrow. But um, the thing about the workshops here that I was teaching about blended learning and people were very polite and they, uh, I wasn't really sure how the information was relating to them. I mean, I, I had them do a lot of things. You know, I had them go to websites and kind of like the interactive map we did at the beginning, you know, that sort of blended learning, blended interaction. Um, so anyway, the, what happened was in this English language specialist gig, I, once I left Thailand, I 
had an online component. And then the online component, which happened in February to March, this is where people started, their schools were starting to get canceled. And they had to really, this is what we called emergency remote teaching, ERT. This was happening and the, the information I was giving people was starting to take hold because it was just in time learning. Uh, and I got this picture here of uh, Lao Tzu, who's a Chinese philosopher, although I don't know if this, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. I don't know if that's attributable to him. Some people think it is. Uh, some people think it's, uh, it's not, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway, it's a nice picture here. Uh, but the idea is that uh, this stuff takes when people are really, when people really need the information. So basically, what we're doing here, we're doing uh, a conference on the new normal to survive lockdown because um, this is really pertinent to us right now. And so we were learning, I think we're beyond the uh, emergency re remote teaching stage. But I want to just speak in the last couple of minutes that I have to talk here um, about the things that you see on the screen. Webheads in action, which Hana mentioned. Um, learning together, what is that? And, so, and, and there's also something called Talon, which I started uh, teaching and learning in isolation. Uh, so if, if you have the slides, uh, I don't know if that ever got into the text chat, but anyway, you'll, we'll come up again with the, the link. But it, it's there. And it's tinyurl.com slash Vance 2020 Summit. So if you want to follow the links, you can. But learning together is something I've been doing for the last 10 years. And... Um, the reason I, I started learning together was that uh, as when I started Webheads in Action in 2002, uh, as a result of teaching online from 1998, something called writing for Webheads. Uh, so uh, when the teachers got involved in 2002, I started, uh, I started uh, Webheads in Action, and we sort of evolved as a community of practice. And... Um, Somewhere along there, 2005, 2007, 2009, we gave three conferences, WebEd's in Action Online Convergences. And these three conferences uh, were a big pain to put on, just like Hana is finding out right now. You know, he's two days, we did three day conferences, we went 72 hours without sleep. So um, I decided, no, I, I like the concept, but I don't like the hours. So I decided to start learning together and just do it one episode a week, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, in the last 10 years, I've done almost 500 episodes. And those, this is, there's an index. All of them are archived. You can, they've all been recorded. You can uh, hear them again. And you, you can go, they're usually videoed. So anyway, it's a, a resource for you if you want to check it out. There's, that's the link to the archive index at the bottom of that slide. And this is about Webheads in Action. Also, there's, there are some links here. First of all, this page uh, at webheads.info, at the top of that page, there's a string of links. Like, for example, Webheads in Action Online Convergence. If you want to click on that, you can find out more about the online convergences. But the best place to find information about Webheads is to look in the encyclopedia, right? So there's an encyclopedia called uh, the TESOL Encyclopedia of English Language Teaching, which is a very expensive mini-volume set of books. But if you want to just read the part about webheads, you can grab that off that link at the bottom, and that will explain to you briefly what webheads is all about and how these parts fit together. Um, so we're doing something, it's kind of because of the isolation, we... Webheads has sort of had a revival. Uh, Michael Coughlin, one of my co-founders of Webheads, um, wrote me and said, well, he's in Adelaide, Australia. He's not really getting out. He's really like to touch base with people more regularly again. Because now this chart you see here, this is, you know, we started, uh, well, we, uh, Yahoo Groups was one part of what we did. And this chart, uh, and, and we moved that over to Groups.io. So Groups.io, consolidated all. We still have a chart of the number of messages we all sent. So you can see here a graphic of uh, starting out in 2002. We had 2,000 messages that year and then going into about 2008, 
we had almost 3,500 messages, and then it kind of tapered off as with his kind of uh, waned in importance in people's lives. Although I should say we never did this band or anything like that with it. Keeps crop, cropping up. Now you can see at the very end, just this year, we started to tick up again because of this uh, weekly revival. Sandbox open mic fun and R. Now I call it a fun and R because it's full of frivolous, unanticipated not nonsense. Open mic that makes it frivolous because we try to. <laughs> the idea is not to have an agenda. Uh, we've been doing it that since March 30th this year, and we had uh, we had about uh, I can't. Oh, we had 28, 20 of them since March. So um, now that happened to coincide with Talon, which is teaching and learning in isolation. It's a, a sort of a a thing I set up taking off from my e-learning. Uh, the e-learning, I wanted to perpetuate it, uh, the, the webinars we had, and because I thought it was really a neat thing, we were learning about how emergency remote teaching worked. And so I started this thing called Talon, which kind of coincided with the WebHits revival. Uh, and I, we did 38 Talon webinars from March 30th to August 9th. And you can click on the link. There's a tiny URL for that as well, tinyurl.com slash talent. And uh, that'll take you to the archive of all those, which are also in the Learning Together archive because it's all really one and the same. But Talon, uh, after 38, in August, we started, we stopped getting kind of like the Webhead's graphic link. We sort of stopped getting people volunteering to do the uh, webinars uh, because we moved away from emergency remote teaching. People are more focused on the sustainability aspect of it. How are we going to, how are we going to get into, how, how, we need to do hybrid teaching, you know, different ways. We're going to learn about these ways as we do this conference. See, that's what, where you take up, you take it from here. Uh, but basically, so I, I reconceived teaching and learning in isolation to what I call town and squared, which is teaching and learning the new normal. But, and that just put it back under uh, learning together. So that's basically what I wanted to say to start us off. And uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the conference, just as you are. And thank you very much for listening. I don't know how we can let's see. I'm just looking at the text box. I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any questions. Any? any... Thank you, Vance. That mm -hmm. was amazing. All right. Yeah. Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Uh, writing after you here, the links and uh, funny nars and uh, talent. What does it stand for? Teachers teaching and learning in isolation. Oh. The N in talent is the last word in isolation. I see. I so see. It, it's become teaching and learning in the new normal, which is talent squared. Now, not just one N, but two Ns. Okay. And learning. You told me something that about it that it stopped. Well, it, 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 okay, on? you know, it's kind of like webheads, as you see from the, from the graphic, webheads waned and then got new life. So yeah, it is going on. Uh, there, there are, somebody just actually volunteered to do, Letizia and, uh, and Daniela in Italy just offered to do a cool webinar on how they, uh, that's coming up in November. So I guess it's still going on, but I'm not really calling it talent anymore because, well, it, it was a big uh, problem keeping track of all those webinars and so yeah. it's learning together basically yeah it's a way of looking at things it's a frame a framework interesting yeah. Yeah, and okay, I'll can, let. Yeah, Alan sorry you can you can go ahead and uh, take the next question if there is any but I cannot see a question here and then in okay. our I'll, uh, first um, uh, uh, keynote speaker Go ahead. Oh, okay, I'll add Tunisia because of asthma to the uh, list of, to our map. So if anybody puts in any uh, countries and I see them in the text chat, then I will um, add them to the map. Okay, so anyway, uh, so the, the next keynote, let me just stop my share here. Or maybe I should, let me, let me uh, rather than stop my, I need to stop the presentation. Let's see how do I do that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so if I go, oh, if I go back over here to the to the page where you're looking, this is learningtogether.com. Uh, sorry, learningtogether.pbworks.com. And okay, <laughs> I was going. 
that's okay. It doesn't matter. I was just going to show you where Tom fits in, where, where the whole program is there. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I, I'd be taking too much time from, well, actually, no, I have, I have time because it's, it's not quite top of the hour yet. So let me just go back to that one. Okay. So this is learningtogether.pbworks.com. And um, this is what the program looks like. And this is how you register for the different events. I mean, people here are already registered, but if you don't know how to register for more, the, the, um, the uh, Zoom room IDs are there. And I think the passwords are more or less the same, aren't they? So um, here, Tom is speaking next. That's Tom Robb. And this is the schedule here. So you can find all the schedule and the times in your time zone. And Tom is going to talk about teaching reading in an online world, how to get them to read at a distance. And that starts me introducing Tom, because Tom is a very good friend of mine. I first met him, I think, in 1988 uh, in Chicago. I met him at a turnstile, an airport baggage, a baggage, uh, baggage roulette, you know, the thing that where you sometimes you get your baggage, sometimes you don't. That's why they call it a roulette. Um, anyway. Uh, I met him there. We were both very young. Uh, anyway, what can I say? But I've known him for all that time, and um, we've worked together in Cal IS, Computer Assisted Language Learning Intersection. We've worked together in, from my end, APICAL, Asia Pacific uh, Cal, and in his side, Pac Cal, which is Pacific Cal. Maybe he can, I don't know if he wants to tell you more about that. But anyway, this puts on a lot of conferences. And so we've gone to these conferences. The last one was in Da Nang, for example. And um, so th th we get together quite a lot. In fact, one of the last times I saw Tom, we were, he says, I see Vance too much or something like that. I don't know what you meant by that, Tom. But <laughs> he's been to my house in a line. And, um, uh, and also, he's the editor of Tesla EJ, uh, Tes Tesla Electronic Journal, which I'm I'm one of the sub editors for the, on the internet column. And so we we're working together constantly. And oh, I forgot to mention M Reader, his incredible project, which he uh. he yeah, there you go. I mean, really, that's <laughs> it's kind of like almost rivals Tom Cobb's um, uh, complete lexical tutor. It's one of those things that's been going on for a long time. It's done through passion. It's done free. And uh, he spends a lot of time on it. He's tweaked it so much that if you listen to him talk about it, I guess he's going to talk about it now. Let it, let's turn it over to him. Welcome, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Vance. Um, I'm happy to be here. You can hear me? Yes, yes. take the screen like share. Oh, okay. I'll stop And then I'll, um, let's see, this will stop other screen sharing. Do you want to continue? Yes, I wanted to share my screen. Um,